over the last week or two, I've noticed a slight difference in my fuel mileage and also uh, how my engine is idling. It seems like I've got just a slight decrease in fuel mileage and maybe just a little bit of a rough idle. Now, this is very minor on both accounts, but it has me thinking that maybe it's something that I should take a closer look at. Now, I've been in and out of mechanics and dealerships quite a lot over the last couple of months here, and I really didn't want to go back to a mechanic without having a little information on my side before I go in. And so that led me to look at scan tools. And so I decided to buy one. This is a simple scan tool. They call these an OBD2 scanner. This plugs into a little port in your dash uh, under your steering wheel in your car and gives you some information that you just wouldn't get otherwise. Now this scan tool was recommended very highly by a very big YouTube channel here called Scotty Kilmer and most of you probably are familiar with Scotty. He's quite a character, but um, since it was highly recommended by him recently, I decided to go ahead and try this, this particular model. Um, now this is a very basic scan tool and uh, this one just seemed like it was a good tool to buy. Uh, it was on sale on Amazon at the time I bought this, so it ended up being about $30. So I thought that that was a good price to pay for me and my situation. Now I should point out here that uh, you don't really need to buy a scan tool. You can go to any auto parts store and they will take their scan tool out to your car. They'll plug it in and check for any fault codes that you might have. Uh, they do this because obviously they want to sell parts. So they get you there, they test your they test your vehicle, and if they find any problems, they can take you inside and sell you the parts. Uh, easy, right? Now what they won't do is they won't clear a code after you fix the problem. So it is a nice idea to have a tool that will not only tell you what the problem is, but it will actually go in and clear that code out after you fix the problem. So that's why I decided to go ahead and buy a scan tool. I wanted to be able to check for codes and also clear any codes after I fix any problems that I find. And I did end up finding one potential problem. Now I'll show you that and I'll also show you how easy this tool is to use. It's really, really easy. Okay, so the first order of business here is we're going to locate where we're going to plug the scan tool in. Mine happens to be right here, so under my steering wheel and above my pedals, this little connector here. So I'm just going to plug this little cable into this connector. Okay, so I did some checking and it would appear that that code is telling me that one of the two oxygen sensors that is on my engine is malfunctioning. And luckily, I only have two oxygen sensors here on this van, and extra luckily, uh, they are both rather easy to get to. And let me show you where they are and what they look like. Right, so here is my engine. This is a 2.4 liter multi-air inline four-cylinder engine. Now I did a little research and found that this engine has two oxygen sensors. This is one. This is called the upstream oxygen sensor. It is on the upstream side of the catalytic converter. The sensor that is showing an error code in the scan tool is that sensor down there. So um, I have to be careful here because this is boiling hot. You can imagine exhaust gases come off of here and run through uh, the exhaust manifold and out. And so not only does this get very hot, but because of the way oxygen sensors work, they also get hot. And so this is going to be hot for a little while. So after doing a little research online, I decided to go ahead and find a part in stock here in town. So I found in O'Reilly's had an NTK oxygen sensor in stock. Uh, this seemed like a good choice, although it wasn't the cheapest choice. Now, I do need to say 
because at this point the comment section is going to be filled with mechanics screaming at me saying that I didn't do a proper check and a proper diagnosis and there's lots of other things that this could be and this is probably not it and I'm sure there's going to be lots and lots of people chiming in here. Yes, you are absolutely right that there are lots of other things that could be wrong, but in this particular circumstance, in my particular circumstance, I should, I should say, uh, it was actually cheaper for me to not only buy this somewhat expensive parts, uh, part was about 60 bucks, uh, 65 bucks, I guess, and the scan tool was about $30, but if you add up those two figures for the parts, and for the scan tool, I'm still under the price it would be to have uh, a mechanic do a proper check on the van. And from what I have researched, this is a more likely uh, scenario that the O2 sensor is bad. And again, the scan tool is telling me that this is a likely scenario. So. I've decided to go this route. Right, so since I can't just work on the engine straight away, since it's so hot, I just found a place to park for a while. I can go and do some shopping, probably make a little lunch sitting here. And since it's a cool day, hopefully I won't have too long to wait until my engine is cool. Okay, so it's been a few hours. The engine has cooled down. I can tackle this. Uh, now I did forget to mention that I did not buy the proper tool to take the sensor out. There's a special socket that you're supposed to use and I'm being a cheapskate because I'm spending too much money as it is but we'll see how this goes. If I need to buy that tool I'll go and buy it and then we'll start this all over again. So there's the old part on the left, new part on the right. They are both made by NTK, so I'm hoping that they are the same part like O'Reilly's has told me. Now let's get the new one back in there. Yeah, that was surprisingly easy. I mean, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, and I thought it was going to be an easy job, but you can see the new oxygen sensor here and then it's clipped up back there. Clipping it on was actually the hardest part and now comes the test. We gotta fire it up and see if that has fixed the problem. Okay so O2 sensor test. The bank one sensor two was the one that we we're working with, so we're going to we're going to test it. Okay, one pass. Good. I don't remember these things before. Seems like there's more things to test now. Maybe that's partly because the other one wasn't working. I don't know. Pass one more, and we got a pass. So that is a result. So that's the one that was saying uh, was the fault. Is this bank one sensor two? That's the one that I researched and changed, and it looks like, at least according to the sensor and according to everything else, uh, that is fixed. Cool. Well, I am pleased as punch that that worked out. Uh, maybe some of you won't believe this, but that wasn't contrived at all. Uh, that test 
that final test that I did with the scan tool, that was in real time. I didn't know if it was going to pass or not. So uh, I recorded it as I, as I did the test after I replaced the sensor. So I'm glad that it came out, that it passed, and it looks like that's what the problem was. Now I'm saying it looks like that's what the problem was because there could actually be something else going on. Uh, but from the looks of that sensor, yeah, it looks like that sensor was just old and needed to be replaced. Probably bad gas, you know, probably, uh, probably not, not bad gas for me. I mean, I've been putting bad gas in the van, not on purpose, but, you know, trying to save money over the last few years. I bought a lot of suspect gasoline and that's probably what has caused it. Um, could be a number of other things too. But anyway, I'll check it from time to time and see if uh, it remains fixed. I think after I do, I think I'm gonna do a big drive tonight or tomorrow and, um, and then check it again. The nice thing about having the scan tool on hand is that I can check it uh, whenever I can't, you know, whenever it's convenient. So I'm quite happy. Um, hopefully I've encouraged you to tackle some little maintenance on your van. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.